what's the key differences uh, between ecc emm and uh, s4 hana procurement give any two three differences okay which were, which were inculcated in s4 hana am i right is my yes, understanding is correct yeah yeah okay the very first difference is the uh, memory uh, the database hana is having its own database second is in s4 hana for procurement the material table uh, npeg and tpf is segregated into one that is mac doc third one is we have uh, hana has introduced new uh, material type that is for service industry the uh, previously we were having bie and now it is sterb fourth one material ledger um, material ledger concept uh, is activation has become mandatory previously it was present in uh, in in the ecc mm-hmm. but it was not yes ecc but it was not used or you can say some they are using but it, it is not mandatory but now for s4 hana we have uh, they have make it mandatory and it is a technical requirement fourth one is uh, uh, concept of business partner has been introduced in which uh, now a same vendor and customer a vendor can be act as a customer or customer can be act as a vendor we have bp concept is introduced in s4 hana uh, again the process of uh, the flexible release strategy has been introduced and um, some hana corporate migration uh, migration corporate is available for migrating the data these are the changes which uh, which uh, there is also some changes in yeah, mrc yeah, mrc life is yeah mrc life has introduced hmm. yeah these are the changes Okay. Also, one more thing from procurement side, material length has been increased from eighteen to forty characters. Yeah, in ECC it was eighteen, and now it is forty characters. Mm. Yes. 